but he had no idea. He would never have got in that car. He would have never. Corey would have never got in that car. Never, bro. He would have never. If he knew anywhere close to that, so it's just like you got to understand. This is, this is what an, a genuine accident is. It's an accident. I love that. Your body is a luxury. Don't waste this luxury. That was a beautiful quote. Please, please, if you guys have the time. You definitely need to go comment on Corey. I mean, uh, Crawford stuff, JC Crawford, stuff. Just JC. throw some, hey, we're praying for you. We're with you. Please, those, Crawford. Those guys were in his face every day for how many please, years? Please, 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 please show a lot of love to Crawford. Because that was pretty much his best friend. Yeah, <laughs> I cracked it. I'm taking a shot. I'm taking a shot. I'm a shot, brother. No, I mean, it makes me feel a lot better talking to you guys, for sure. I'm drinking this one out. I don't even know what to feel at this moment, but... To Corey Labari, living life to the fullest. You have that too. Regardless... A little bit, just a little, little love. We to ain't to get too fucked. To living and loving the best people. Thank God he's in a better place, and thank you, God, so much for being able to know him and call him a real friend, a real friend, a real ass motherfucking friend. And that's hard to say in L.A. On God, that big facts. <laughs> it's like one out of a thousand. Big facts. Like out of big everybody facts. watching this live, that means one of you we would love. Corey, like, Corey LA. is the one out of. 1100 people that <laughs> are in here right that now you would right? be like i would i knew this guy is like, so genuine friend. he's like, so funny he goes out of his way <laughs> he doesn't care if you're famous at followers if you're some normal person he'll hug you he'll love you he'll talk to you um oh god dude cheers Corey. Yeah, no, I, we hear you guys, too. We know you're hurting. Honestly, we're hurting. There's no perfect way to do this. Like, we just, you just got to be open and vulnerable. I think that's why it's powerful that this live, if you think about it, there's a thousand souls watching, all going through the same thing. We appreciate you guys coming together with us and just taking a moment to just honor Corey's life. You know, this week, throughout the week, go click on a couple of his videos. Go see some stuff you haven't seen. This guy was hilarious. He'll lift your spirits. You know what's good? Thank God he was an influencer. Thank God that his videos, his channel, his content will live forever. Like, as long as I'm here, his YouTube channel is still going to be up. We can still go look at hilarious videos. I remember the time he got drunk in that cooler. JC <laughs> for the challenge. I watched that video so many times. I told him that was my favorite videos he's ever done. I don't watch people's videos. I just I have too many friends that are in the space. I just don't watch people's videos. <laughs> I saw that video of him getting drunk and mad in the cooler. I literally, I had one of the best days of my life laughing. 44. Yeah. Some of y'all might not know. Some of y'all may know. We've lived together a few times for sure. Carter's a real one. We bonded. We're attached. Family ties. I'm sure y'all know by now. 
from this broadcast that is a very uh very very good guy, very spiritual guy, very uh positive. Uh, just like you, bro. Person, you know what I mean? Just trying to be like you. That's bro. why I had that's why I had to be around him today. I I, I needed some of uh that good energy around me. Carter's got a point, guys. If you're if you're having a moment, if you guys, no matter what country or what state you're in, if you're having a hard time and you're sad and you're going through it, reach out to a close friend. Reach out. Family members that you can talk to on this level, that you have this connection with, talk to them. This is a moment for you guys to grow and, and honor it. It's like, truthfully, and I think Carter and I are in the same boat on this, this is probably the mo the person, this is the first person in my entire life, I'm 31, 31 years old, three decades. This is the first person I've lost that I had this much love for, this much caring for, this much fun times. I've lost people, but never anybody this close to home to where it still does not seem real. It's I, like, that's why I haven't cried yet. I've almost cried a bunch. Everybody's grieving differently. Carter's cried, I'm sure a lot of you have cried. It's, uh, it is a beautiful thing to cry and and show your appreciation to yeah. care it, it is it renews your vessel never be scared yeah just exactly just be free never be scared to be vulnerable yep and i mean i'm not my <laughs> my intent wasn't to be vulnerable <laughs> during this broadcast but um obviously you know it is a bad dream for it is it's, 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 a, it's, it a, it's a nightmare yeah, it's a nightmare exactly. it's not even a dream it's, right. a, it's a nightmare Guys, I just want you to know we're here for you. We're lo we're here to love on you, put some good vibes your way. Just remember, before you fall asleep tonight, when you're laying there in your bed, just close your eyes. Just say, I love myself. Thank you, God, that I can live today. Thank you, God, that I'm still on earth today. And you can definitely put some prayers up for Corey's family. Just close your eyes before you go to bed. Thank God that you are still here. Because you can go in an instant. Corey was one of the most beautiful people I know, most pure-hearted. And he got taken... That's so crazy. I don't think I'll ever be able to process it, Emily. It, it, it reminds me of a Kobe's death, but it just hits a lot harder, especially when you when you know someone. Yeah, no, because everybody, you know, Drunk, puke, getting tased like the wild, like the wildest thing for Everything. this guy, bro. <laughs> Everything possible. He was such a real, bro, he was such guy. a real motherfucker. He didn't care what or who you were. He would tell you how he felt in confidence, and that is so crazy. And that's rare. <laughs> this person said, so. "Okay." <laughs> 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 He can pull me out when you need, like a fucking That's exactly genie in a lantern. You are, bro. You are. <laughs> rub the little lantern, I come out in fucking handcuffs and some toga pants. Everyone needs a John. <laughs> That's right, amen. Amen. But truthfully, everybody, and I just think that we all had and still have a beautiful Corey. Corey Labari, man. I just, I wish y'all could get to, I wish you had the moment to, sh to hold him, to shake him, to hug him. But I'm telling you, you did. If you saw his content, that is exactly.
here. I'm going to talk to some of the other producers. I was fortunate enough to help produce his podcast, Underappreciated. And he had a lot of episodes they decided to never release. And I'm definitely going to push for those episodes to be released now. Um, just him being himself, laughing, hilarious. Um, remember Corey. Remember Corey. Hashtag remember Corey. I'm telling you, we should start that. Hashtag remember Corey. Next time someone grabs a drink and has their keys, I'm telling you, think about remember Corey. Take their keys, throw them in the lake. <laughs> like, seriously, if they're trying to fight you to drive. Say, fuck your car. <laughs> yeah, seriously, say, hey, when you're sober tomorrow, call the, call, the, call, the toy, call the Toyota dealership and get your keys remade. I'm telling you, that's, um, you guys, this is, this is serious. This is serious. This is not a joke. This is a real deal, and you have to choose love. You have to choose the true, real love. Is someone that's not a fucking coward that can go up to your friend, grab the keys and say, hey, I love you, bro. You're not fucking driving. You guys have to remember that. Hashtag remember Corey, bro. Put up a post. Hashtag remember Corey. I'll do one. Let's start the movement. Let's remind people. Let's help everybody that knows. And, I, and the sad part is, too, there's a lot of people he influenced that don't even know yet. They're finding out right now. Yeah, there are. This literally just happened 24 hours ago. I've, I've seen so many people ask, like, yeah. Some people genuinely There's don't know. a lot know. of people who really don't know. Which, and know. I think everybody just needs to keep this in mind. It was 100% an accident. Everyone involved were people that were loved. Corey was loved. Even Daniel was loved. Did Dan Corey would have not gotten that car, Daniel, unless he fucked with him. I'm telling you, Corey's like that. He knows his surroundings. This was 100% a silly judgment call of going too fast in a residential area with too much alcohol in your system. Bur you know how it is in people's birthdays. People get excited. They get amped, you know? You really got to check yourself, guys. You really have to check yourself. Do you feel how much I'm shaking right now? I know. You're like shaking the whole bro, chair. He's so like much. shaking the I whole balcony. I can't, I can't stop shaking. Bro. It's okay, buddy. I can't stop shaking. It's okay. It, it, ah! Shaking my ass off right now. I just sound Guys, this fucking hurts it hurts it's hard mm. it's hard i get it it's hard yes Corey did live his fucking best life he did man he had such big plans too he was so fucking funny i remember Like, no, come on in. You're fine. You're fine. Nicole, say hi. Hi, how are you guys? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to take a break from all the sadness. So cheer it up. Have a joke. Let's see best food's going. That Corey was a motherfucker. He was vulgar and funny and sarcastic and uh, fake rude. He was fake rude to be funny and was the most genuine way of doing it and he would always laugh and make sure that you felt valued. Oh man. And I'm telling Hey, I love you guys, too. You know what would be super cool right now? Someone help me with my healing. If everybody that's watching this would just take one little comment and say, what was your favorite? shot if you guys want to take one with this. Will you pour it up? Also, dinner's almost ready. This is what I'm saying. This would help me and might maybe help Carter as well. I could be down. Let's take a shot. Everybody in the comments. Yeah, That's go Anna. Saying. 
if he knew them or not. Whether his reaction not. to K KJ camping his room would make videos of King. I love it. Yeah, everybody say sarcasm. I like <laughs> this. This makes me feel so much better. What did you guys love about Corey? Write it right now in the comments. Put it in the comments. What did you love about Corey? Hashtag remember Corey. His laugh. No, his <laughs> laugh. Oh, my God. God. When he would laugh, I would laugh. Even if I wasn't even laughing, if he laughed, it was funny, I had to laugh. Wait, we got to go back a little bit. It's going so quick. I, I commented on Oscars and Corey's. Corey was playing with them. Immediately just said, I asked him if he would marry me. And he said no without hesitating. <laughs> what did it say? Oh, my God. Of course. No, and it was uh, without hesitation. I love it. I love he probably should have said. He probably was like, no. No. <laughs> no. I sadly no. never got to meet him. I just love how happy he was. The joy he brought. I loved all of his TikToks. He lifted my joy. I love this. Honestly, he showed me love. Yes, exactly. When his friend shaved his hair. When he got the tattoo. You guys, literally, we, we're having... We're having everyone comment their oh, favorite. So and Shout we out. have 900 people in here. So everyone's writing positive their own comment, positive comment of, like, what Corey affected him on. And it's some of the sweetest things ever. Aww. Corey's smile, his laugh, he was my favorite. Anytime they picked on him, it was hilarious. I agree with you, 13. Wait, I think we can save the whole video. Half movie. circle? What does everybody what? keep saying, half circle? Yes, his live stream. <laughs> His sarcasm. Like, he really yeah, did have yeah, the best sarcasm. Yo, Corey Loki, he was always sarcastic. <laughs> His videos always made me laugh when oh, I would yeah, come yeah, home and I was having a rough day. To Cheer, hey, to Corey, baby, to and his beautiful laughter and sarcasm. I hope that you're yeah. happy and that yeah. you love your friends because they love you a lot. Mm. 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 Oh, my God, yes, his TikTok. He lighted up a room, his streams. He made a cooking video with JC. Wait, did I just see Carrington in here again? Which one is she? Carrington. She said the way he lit up a room and his sarcasm. Yo, I love Carrington. Shout out to Carrington and her fucking mom and her baby sister who's like her fucking clone. <laughs> Yo, Carrington, I love you so much. Carrington, you's a real one. We love you, Carrington. I love Carrington. Yo, Corey really did know how to light up a room. And he didn't even try, bro. And that was even, the fucking thing. Even, even he when, never tried. Even when no one he knew never who tried. he was, he was always just that person to really, like... The freezer like, video. Yes. When he was drunk <laughs> and got kicked out. Yes, yes, bro. I remember that. He would. He talked to someone with 50 followers the same way he talked exactly. to a million. Can and we pin it. that comment? How do you pin that? Pin it. <laughs> wait, 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 oh, what oh. did you do? Did you block him? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you requested him? I, I accidentally requested you, my fault. You should pin that shit. Pin it, hold it. I don't know if I have... I, I'm trying to, but there's so many comments. I'm like, uh. Wait, 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 wait. They've had hard times in life going through things. Be like Corey Labari, bro. Live unforgivably, unapologetically. Live to a way where you were just the best you. The best you. The best version of you. He was so good at it. He was definitely the best version of himself, bro. He reacted K and J bullying him. That's so funny. <laughs> Kian and JC definitely. The snowman. Even even to the people that weren't his friends, he still talked to them as friends. And now that, that was the good part about Corey. Yeah. Literally. Like everyone. Like not even people that weren't his friends. Like I could see that he was just always just genuine. He's the king. On God. Corey yeah. is the king. Literally, Corey, Corey is Corey's the king. king. Corey's king. Corey. You should king. honestly start saying hashtag King, king Corey. Corey bro, bro. Honestly, I would rather see that. If y'all got that, if y'all could bro, throw a little just love. Anything, bro. Anything, if y'all could throw a little love saying hashtag King Corey, I'd love to see it. Hashtag Corey. King Corey. Corey was a king. King Corey. For y'all that don't know Corey, he was a king, low key. <laughs> yeah. Low key. Man, I just had so many fun time telling you guys. Like, it was so random, but somehow I got into producing podcasts, and I got blessed to sign his show. 
with Crawford and he would show up early. He'd bring all the equipment. And I make these jokes because Crawford would show up 20 minutes late, not have a camera with the battery. Like, and Corey would be bringing tripods and cords and like doing it right. He's like, dude, <laughs> just, Corey was hungry, man. He was hungry. He is, you know. Ooh, I lost bro, my he wanted it, bro. I lost my mother. I'm very happy that Corey brought you joy. He was very close with Franny, very close with Crawford. Yeah. Especially recently. Yeah, honestly, I, I'd say at least 18 months that I saw. Yeah, the pa- at least like, the past. Two years. Honestly, two yeah, years. Maybe past two years. Uh, Corey and Crawford, Corey they're and Crawford. inseparable. Inseparable. Yeah, bro, they did mean... shows together. They had a podcast together. They did a YouTube channel together. They lived together. They did everything. And together. Crawford was one of my uh, roommates in the past, too. So, like. Hey, me too. <laughs> one of my Crawford best best you live with us, too? Exactly. Remember you moved yeah, in? <laughs> I mean, Crawford Oscar tried to kick me out of my own house. Days, that was bro. funny. I love Oscar. I love Crawford Oscar. to death. Uh, I have not had any contact with Franny. I haven't, you know. Yeah. We have, I have, we kind of haven't had contact you with You guys got to understand really. that right now it's like people are catatonic. If you don't know what that word means, it means like disassociated from reality. Like it's hard for people to even look at a phone. It's hard for them to eat, even go to the bathroom. Like, they're just in a place of stasis and loss, process. and they're crying. They're they're laughing. They're crying. They're laughing. They're crying. They don't know how to feel. Um, especially people that were there. Yeah. Guys, you got to put some prayers up for the people there at that party that wish they would have stopped them or tried harder. There were some people that tried that didn't succeed. There were some people that didn't try at all. There were some people that didn't know at all. So you can't even. You can't, it's like I said, guys, there's no judgment. There's no one to blame. There's no judgment in true love. True love. You know what love is, folks? The absence of judgment. <laughs> and. Drop the mic. Drop the mic. But actually, though. And that's what thing about Corey. He would look at you, love you, didn't matter who you were, the mailman, fucking Obama, or if you were Mother Teresa, Donald Trump, or fucking. <laughs> fucking hitler it didn't matter well he yo, might hate yo, you if you were hitler <laughs> but he looked at you like you were a real person he looked you in the eyes he laughed with you he'd hug you he was focused on you he would always where you. can i buy a john i love you who are you bim <laughs> everyone needs a hey, john in their life i love you i, I need, I a, john in my hey, life. I need a carter in mine i love that i got a carter in mine here's my garter here <laughs> I'm my buddy, he tries. It's family. It's so Always. funny. You know, it's funny you talk about me and Carter. I really feel like just God has got a plan, man. And it's sad that Corey got taken. But the same how me and Carter met, it was God. It was so random. It was just, we bumped. It was just like life brings people together. And I just am so thankful that Corey was being able to be used to bring life together for you guys. Especially the I comment mean, yeah. we just read about the girl lost her mother. Exactly. Like there's people out there when you have a hard time. Same for me. You know, like I might click on a video. It could be Nelk Boys, David Dobrik, somebody that's, you know, you're anybody's content that I see that helps me take a break from the hard part of my life to see someone else in, in joy and passion and peace. It helps. And I'm a little sloppy because you know what it is when you get drunk or say maybe you're high whatever guys this is not fair this is not right save your friends save the life imagine Corey could still be here right now if somebody had had the courage to rip the keys out of that out of daniel's hand it's okay it's okay it happened and nobody meant it evilly i promise you if some 
Oracle would have come out of nowhere of space time continuum and grabbed Corey and grabbed Daniel and said, Hey, if you get in that car, you're going to die. They would have dropped the keys and walked away on God. Those were good people. Those were good kids. At the end of the day, bro, it is a freak accident. It, it, this was not intentional. It was never. This intended. wasn't like someone had a gun and was being stupid. This was literally a car that is so fast that it went out of control. They're drunk. This was not meant to happen. This was not meant to happen. And you know what? The only way anything, it's hard, guys. I get it. God has a plan. You have to understand that the fact that Corey passed away through it, but truthfully, Corey 1,000% is in a better place, living his best life. You know for a fact I know that a real motherfucker like that is going to have one of the best seats in heaven, period. He is, no bro. question. That's live, the thing. You ever have live. someone pass in your life <laughs> that you don't know if they're good or if they're putting good energy out there? There's people that pass away that you're like, dang, maybe their eternity is going to be different. I know for a for fucking a fact, fact bro. that Corey is up there chilling with Jesus, probably giving him high fives, jacket, like fucking <laughs> making jokes about hand jobs. You know what I'm saying? Like literally, <laughs> all respect to my God, my King, my Lord. I mean that, though. Corey was a funny, loving human he would have been the best father he was the best friend he was the best genuine inspiration to people Man, it's weird. Grief comes in waves. Like, you just get so hey, that's passionate, saying, and then bro. you just want to like, cry. Like, does anybody else feel what I'm saying? It's been coming in waves. Yo, wave, comment like... a wave emoji if you know what I'm saying, Loki. Like, you're just one second, you're so happy, and you're so happy you got to know him and enjoy him. And the next second, you're just like, oh, my God. Like, I just I've, I've cried at least, at least, like, ten times today. Corey, buddy. At least. Oh my god! Like, if I had a time machine, I would go back in fucking time. I'd grab him out of that car. That's how much I love that <laughs> motherfucker. Forgive my French, bro. Yo, comment that wave. If you know what it is to how it feels to be emotional, like, one second you're high and happy, next second you're low and sad, and that's what love is. That's how you know you love someone, man. Like, you got a connection with this person. And telling you there's so many people i've worked exactly, with bro. that That's i can tell I mean. you are black and white different apple and orange different on instagram they look one way they talk one way in person they're the total different person Corey, Corey was, was not that he cory was fucking cory cory was motherfucking six nine that <laughs> motherfucker will tell you if he's a motherfucking rat and just tell you i'm telling you cory was not a rat thanks Corey god was that guy he was a real motherfucking person he was like yo i'm gonna be me motherfucker no <laughs> matter what <laughs> No matter what. Yeah, waves is fucked. Put some waves up for Corey right now. Yeah, grab one. Wait, no, you should I'm just, grab I'm Nineteen in the scam, the government is all social distancing at this point. I'm telling you right now, right now we need social closening. Like we need people hugging each other. This ain't about some virus that a couple people have that's not even as bad as the normal fucking flu. It doesn't even people apart. It's fear. It was manifested. Yes, people die from it, but way more people die from influenza, the fucking flu. They die more from this. This coronavirus was, was put out there. To distract the public, we're not talking about. I'm telling you, there's some moments I had when it, we took Carlos. Me- Do you remember Carlos? Have you ever met Carlos? Put him in. Remember when I was in No uh, NoHo 14? He was he was friends with like Alex. Do you remember him? 
Carlos, my boy. Let me see them waves. If you think Corey was the wave, let me see them waves. I want to see every Obviously. person on here. All Obviously. 780 whatever of you. Two of you. 70. Like you all yeah, need to. Right. Let's see them waves. Let's see them oh, waves. Baby said baby. Baby. Oh, baby. Baby. Wait, wait, wait. Baby, receive the request. We want to go live with you. Aaron. There he is. Yo. That's my boy right there. Man, rest in peace to Corey, the legend. That's what I'm talking about, dog. Yes, sir, brother. How you doing, no bro? Okay, I'm doing. I'm. I'm trying to do good, bro. That shit hurt, you know. All day. I just woke Dude. up from a nap. Hey, you got the ID on you? Damn, bro. Yeah. You just, Aaron. Didn't you just have a birthday? Yeah, I did. I just did last week. What's your star sign? Uh, I'm a Taurus. Is Corey a Taurus? He might have been a Taurus. Oh uh, yeah, he is. He yeah, is. He is. Whatever, Fuck, whatever yesterday was, is that Fuck, yeah. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Dude, Aaron, it, 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 ain't, it ain't fair, yeah. bro. It ain't fair, G. That's not yeah. right. Like, this whole fucking... Hey, but y'all know the reason why is because he was too real for the world. On God, bro. Was, it's bro. wild that I've seen this happen before. When, when I've ever lost anyone in my life, they were always the most pure. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Why don't bad people fucking die? I'm sorry. Forgive me. Why don't the sus motherfuckers... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just being... Thanks, bro. My, bro... Hella sketchy, real ass, humble dude that cared about others. It's, bro, it's like, it's just, it's the people that care about others before them. Yes, yes. Themselves. Corey was that dude. Exactly. Corey was the guy I, to go out of his way. Corey was, he never did anything for himself. He was always helping other people. He's always loving on other people. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Exactly. Yo, Corey, hey. It's crazy. Yeah, we love you, Corey. We love you, Corey. Aaron, I want to see that beautiful face of yours. You better put your face on I the I just fuck up, man. Yo, Corey, hey, we talking about Corey here. You put your face on the fucking uh, live uh, right uh, now. 100%. 100%. There he is. Hey, That's man. what I'm saying, it's bro. Like, Come on. Hey, rest in peace to Corey, man. Hey, man, rest in peace. So that, so that. But yo, Aaron, on God, bro, I love you. I know Carl. I love you more. Bro. Hey, we have to. We, we we got a link soon, man. I love you more. No, bro. man. Honestly, hey, bro. hey, this is the truth, Aaron. As this kind of goes throughout the week, as this thing kind of like, you know, tra transpires or whatever, uh, we all need to get together. You know how COVID nineteen social distancing rules. I cannot imagine having a funeral on a live stream. I know. That's horrible. I'm not gonna do it. So, like, we really got to find a way to where we can all maybe go to a beach or something and just maybe throw some flowers in the ocean for core. Oh, on God, bro, it's like, this is important. People need to be remembered. Like, dude, this motherfucker was one of the best people I've ever met. And he just fucking died for no fucking reason. Like, it's crazy. Are you kidding me? It's crazy, man. The world is crazy. It's crazy. Oh. Crazy. This, the world's a crazy place. Bro. Like, I'm telling you, if you had to tell me of all the people I've met in the last 10 years, who would be on my top 10 list? Corey might be number one. Like, he was just – Corey He's was bad, so bro. real, bro. He was so kind to you. It doesn't matter who you know or who you're with. He would come up to you and hug you, dude. Oh. Exactly, man. I just always saw him in L.A. Just always with a smile on his face, you know. Always just having a good time. He was living life the way life. And that he barely knew who Corey was just shows on the amount of impact that Corey had. on Yeah, you only life, needed bro. one time, one hug, one, one love one video. Like you could see who he was, bro. And Aaron, you're in the industry. You know how people are. Fake exactly. Exa yeah. Nobody that, is that's, how they are, dude. Exactly. Listen. When, like, a couple, literally a couple weeks ago, me and Carter were playing Fortnite, and we was playing with, uh, we was playing with JC and Corey, yeah. and just wow. that whole, that whole party was just, like, if Corey wasn't in that party, man, it wouldn't have been as, as entertaining, as funny, um, as love, you know?
Yeah, you said Bryce. Bryce, I wasn't even there, but Bryce I can hundred percent. All day, bro. All day, bro. I'm glad. I'm glad you see that. Hundred oh, percent. Real, recognized, real. This makes Always, me sad. Bro. This makes me so sad. Always, bro. Guys, this Always. is so hard. This sucks so much. I'm sorry. This sucks so much. This is. I'm like losing it. Bro. All we can do. All. All we can do now. All we can do now. Exactly. Never let his, and, and never let his name die. We got to spread his bro. legacy for life. You feel me? Yeah, exactly, you, bro. You, Aaron, you're you right. right wrong, bro. Aaron, you've always had wisdom beyond your years, bro. You's a youngin, but you've always had the age of an old man, like with wisdom. Yeah. I know you know it. You have an old soul is what they call it. Exactly. It's an old soul. Big man. bags, bro. How you doing, I love Aaron? you. I live every day. I gotta, you feel me? Like, yeah. I gotta live every day like it's my last day because you never know when. It's no, you're right about that, bro. Corey didn't know. We didn't know. Dude, tomorrow, who knows what tomorrow? Tomorrow, somebody might have the same outcome. We don't know, bro. Exactly. Like, you're so, you have to live like you no know tomorrow exists. You have to live every day. You have to live like it's only fucking right now. And I want everybody, everybody in here, just know that you are loved. You're not ugly. You're beautiful in your own way. And I want you guys to chase your dreams. If somebody's hating on you, for real, y'all, keep spreading Corey's name. Try yeah, to stay agree. positive for me, and we love y'all. Carter, I'm about to go eat some food. But look, hey, hey, Ron. Carter, hey, hey, Ron. I love you, bro. Hey, hey, and I, hey, I want Ron. you to Baby hold up in the way. building. Feel me? I love you, brother. I'm going I'm to hit you up after I get off. All right, easy. Hey, cowboy, I love you, too. Hey, what's up to your big brother, dog? I miss you, son. <laughs> I miss you, dog. I'm, hey, I'll miss you I'll more, miss bro. You I'll miss you more. I'll miss you, I'll miss you more, you more, motherfucker. I really do, Aaron. Come on. Love, love you, I'll miss you more. You. Hey, y'all stay you, safe. Love you guys. Love you, yes, bro. Sir. Love you. Uh, love. Love. Yo, that's family right there. That's also... Exactly. Same vein as Corey, Aaron. Aaron exactly. will love you, I talk mean, to you. Saying, Doesn't guys. matter how many famous celebrities that motherfucker knows or friends with, he will come up to you and talk to you. There are a few people and that are in that vein, bro. bro. And I mean, that's a prime example, bro. The fact that Aaron, Aaron didn't know who Corey was to the full extent. Yeah. But the fact that he met him a few times, he even, shares even, that genuineness, exactly, he's, though. Exactly. He really does. And, and, and I don't, we that, don't say that about nobody, bro. No, we ain't trying to do nobody and, favors. And, and, and the fact that Aaron saw that from literally, like, I remember when he, he met him, like, real the first time. Like, the fact real. that he really recognized that shit. Real like, recognized guys, real. Like, literally, Corey was one of the most realest motherfuckers. Yeah, do you have a lighter? Yo, shout out to Corey. It's all love. It's all beauty. It's all amazingness. Listen, life is not unfair. Life is beautiful. Moments are unfair, but life is not unfair. That's why I saw somebody say that. I just want to tell you. <laughs> John for president. Aaron is the first lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what does that make me? He's he vice president? Like, what the fuck? I think Carter should be president. I'd be a way better vice. <laughs> that way he gets stuck with all responsibilities. I can just eat free cake at the buffet <laughs> in the White House. Um, my name is John. I go by Spirit, Spiritual Cowboys, my Instagram. But truthfully, I'm telling you, if you can live like Corey Labari, if you can live outside the box, if you can love the broken, if you can love the unwanted, if you can treat Leonardo DiCaprio the same way you treat a homeless man, <laughs> that's the Corey Labari. That's the Corey. That's that literally the Corey is, that bro. I know. Literally, that's the Corey bro. that I know. 
And yes, he sir. was a good-looking motherfucker, dude. That guy was cute as fuck. Also, something to do with Australia. I know he's somehow from Australia. He was. He is. And he I is always gave him that because I was like, dude, I don't hear your voice. Like, sometimes you barely hear an accent, but like, it <laughs> changed. Like, I love everybody's got that blue heart. That's great. Dude, we should honestly do a heart. We should. We know what we should do, Carter. We should get a hoodie with Corey's face on it or something. Yeah. Sell it and you give all the, give all the money to his parents and his family or some shit. Like I, a remember Corey <laughs> merch drop. I want to do something and like literally that. donate a hundred percent of the profits I, to his family. No, I, I definitely want to do something like that. Like a, you know, a, a remember I mean, obviously Corey. when the time comes. Yeah, you know yeah when it's mean? right. Like when it's right. When it's right, because he put all his time in it. That's so easy. We get a dope picture of him, put it on a blue hoodie. Say so hashtag remember Corey. Everybody can, you know, donate 10 or 20 bucks to his family and you get the hoodie, whatever, just to get, just to help so him. Much, cause... bro, for his family. I, like, uh, Dude, funerals was, are not uh, cheap, guys. I got to tell you that, too. Like, like the, that's fucked. Funerals are expensive JC, as shit. JC had, like, a, a Halloween party, and I bonded so much with Corey on that party. I bonded so much with Corey and, like, his brother. That party. Dude, when I went to parties at JC's house... I would see Corey, and I would just feel so welcome because I would feel like, you know, when you're at a party and you're like, do these people like me or not? Do they fuck with me or not? When I saw Corey, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I was like, thank God Corey's here. I have a teammate. I have someone that would have my back, bro. Bro, Corey will always have your back, and that's the thing about him. Whether he don't even know who you are. How did we find out? We found back. out from people that were there. Someone yeah. told Carter he was gaming, playing some video games. One of the guys hopped on live. And told him was there, and then Carter told yeah, me at I four a.m. I, I found out from him last night. I heard about this last night, like, and it's kinda, hard too because like a few hours like after it happened. But obviously, you know, I just it, his cousin made a GoFundMe. We need to find that link and and p pump that link for sure. Honestly, if you guys would give a dollar, ten dollars, if you if Corey ever, I'll give ten bucks to Corey. On God, I'll probably give him a hundred bucks. I'll give him a thousand. I literally, bucks, bro. bro I, if, it's a, if it's a GoFundMe, bro, oh my God, I'll go into my pockets. If you guys could literally just give a dollar or two, to really just love on his family to go through what they're doing. Remember, his family's in different countries. It's expensive when someone passes away. It's very expensive to move a body. It, it it's 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 tricky. So. I'm telling you, five dollars, two dollars, three dollars, a hundred, whatever you can afford, go to that GoFundMe link that someone's talking about, and fucking. I, don't, I mean, I don't even know if that's the like. like he says it's his cousin. Fun you know what we should do? Like, uh, for, honestly, do your research. Make sure it's his cousin. But I promise you, after this live stream, I will set up some little thing. Please go to fucking Corey's family. Exactly. Because that is the most unfair thing in the world on your son's birthday, on Mother's Day to go through this and they definitely need some comfort it is hard to focus as a parent and go back to work when your son just passed away so guys i'm telling you if Corey ever affected you take it a moment in your heart and be like yeah i could get five bucks i could get ten bucks if everybody in here gave ten bucks that'd be enough to pay for the funeral on god because that shit is expensive man it is not a joke i definitely want to figure that stuff out for sure with the I set up links for the Carter tour. There. Oh, it's going to happen. No, it. it will happen. So I mean, I'm going to tell you, for Corey, I'm going to set up a link called We Love Corey. And if you see it and we post it, I'll post it on my account, Spiritual Cowboy. Maybe Carter will post it on his. And we donate it. We'll, give, we'll, we'll get in touch with his mom. We'll get in touch with his family to make sure all the money goes to them to help pay for the funeral. I don't, I don't know where his parents are, really. Um, the only thing I know is that his mom is like – in New Zealand or Australia, <laughs> where, wherever he's he's from, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that his dad and his brother um, came out here today. I'm not sure. I'm not 100 percent with all that, but uh, I'm almost positive that <laughs> you know that happened. The last thing I'm trying to do is promote myself. I don't want any of this. I don't want any followers. I don't want anything. Yeah, like bro. That. This right now is Same. me talking about Corey. I told you guys before, like, I'm not trying to do this to, like, promote myself. I don't. Either. 
this is about bringing awareness to a guy that lived life like it was supposed to exactly, be lived. Exactly, exactly. This was 100% the reason why we're spending our time here with you and moments here with now, thank God, almost 700 people of you all around the world is for Corey, to bring awareness to Corey, to hopefully even may, maybe donate a couple of dollars to go to Corey's family to help them pay for this expense. Like, this was not expected, and this is one of the most... <sighs> it's just something that you would never expect. I mean this with all my heart. This is one of the most tragic experiences I've ever gone through. I'm 31 years old. I've never lost anyone this close. I lost a grandma once when I was a child, but it wasn't the same relationship. Yeah. And that, and that hurt too, but... <clears throat> I lost my grandpa, bro. Just, bro it's when, different when... when it's a friend that you meet, you make a bond with, you have a respect. What the fuck? Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. You're amazing. Thank you. Of course. Thank you. I don't, I don't even I've know what to say. I've never made it before, but it's... We just got some... Uh, it might be like Dijon heavy, but I think it's pretty Struggling good. Struggling off? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I appreciate the the struggling off. Welcome. What? <laughs> you don't have to like it. <laughs> if you don't like it, it's... Baby, I love it. It's so good. You know me. Can I have salt? I love salt. I put salt on everything. This is so fire. Thank you. That's fire, bro. We have cheese bread. Oh, my God. Homemade cheese bread with <laughs> And she's over here apologizing. <laughs> I need to get my uh, Powerade from... Uh... Can we take a shot? <coughs> yes. Uh... Babe, where's the salt? I'll be right back. I'm going to get some Powerade from my uh, backpack. Ladies and gentlemen, one second. I'll entertain you for one a second. second. Listen, this isn't about entertainment, guys. This is about remembering someone who we all knew, we all loved. I'm also putting salt on my beef stroking off. Oh! Corey. <coughs> I dropped it. I don't know how to pick it. There's some things on here, Carter, that when me and you are in bed tonight, people are going to wake up in Spain or Norway or China. I'm not trying to, trying to <laughs> let you see Instagram. Right? No, I know. I know and that's exactly and why I would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would love to. You need to say, you need to post this, bro. I mean, it's up to you, but I would encourage you for the, all the souls that need to see this, leave it up for 24 hours. Yeah. But this is about human life. Me link right here. I don't know if it is. Is this actually the GoFundMe link, guys? I was about to ask you guys when you get up. I, I'm pinning the comment. Can you guys check if it is a GoFundMe link? Because if it is, then I'll keep it pinned. I just I don't know if it is. Yeah, I think this is so important to show those of you who supported Corey. It is? Is it actually the GoFundMe link? For those Yo, of you John, that... John, can you, can you go on my live and can you, like, click on yeah. the GoFundMe Maybe
This is from Alex. I'm guessing that's the same one. It has I'm to donating be. money. I'm do I'm giving it money, bro. Yeah, 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 I'm doing it. <clears throat> I'm about to put this on my story. Oh, I know. I mean, press close. I know. Hold it. I'm going to put it on my story real quick. Share it on Instagram. Guys, if you can give $1, $10, if you, if you have money and give. Is it actually? It's 150000 to reach goal. Wow, that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. But all it takes is a few people give 100 bucks. Sure, give them, a, give them 150 grand, bro. I don't know. Maybe that's what it costs, bro. I'm, funerals are ridiculous. This is expensive, dude. I don't know. Wow. Is it actually that much? Oh, wow. 150000 That blows my mind. Why is it so much? Like, also, if I go to the family, like, on um, the 25th birthday of Corey Labari, tragically left us a fatal car on Sunday, May 10th. The untimely sudden passing of Corey has left his family and friends under shock. The jarring detour from the bright promise of future Corey ahead of him. Corey will be missed not only by his family and friends, but by hundreds of thousands of supporters and subscribers he shared with his life on social platforms. He was truly an open book, loved by all, <clears throat> always welcoming to anyone new. He was tenacious in his ventures and brought him to undeniable fun and engaging energy to everything he did. Corey served as a light to brighten up anyone's day with endless entertainment, laughter, and unwavering love. With such a shock, Corey's family now has the mighty and weary task to keep their lives in order after such a tragic loss for which they are not prepared. As you can imagine, the family is grieving right now, and the last thing we want to do is worry about finances, Memorial Day, memorial expenses, are only the beginning of Corey's are only the beginning of Corey's family. We will we excuse me. Wow. While while we may not be able to release Corey's family of their emotional burdens, we can come together and do what we can to relieve them of some financial hardship. That will be the new reality to exist in. With your donations, we hope to help Corey's immediate family through this thing of your support. Who made this though, you know? Does it does it say does it say who made it? They've already raised six grand out of 150. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like. And, you know, maybe, I don't know. I didn't get the best feeling when I read that bio. If it is his family, I, I mean, I, just, I feel like, like it is. I, okay, like Alex, it, Alex sent like me that. Is. Alex sent me that. I'm going to call Alex and make sure it's the right one. Whether we have this one to His donate to. Funerals one hundred sixty thousand. Wow. Yeah, funeral funerals are uh, expensive, expensive, dude. They're not cheap, bro. They are definitely that's not. That's John. Alex, is that the right link? That's what we're wondering. Yeah, that's what we're wondering. It's the person, the person that did it. Um, they, 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 they like clearly seem to be related. Or, like, you're posting, like, him, and then, like... You might need to put the link in your bio. Like, I mean, like, that's what I'm saying. Just, like, like, you care? I, I would tell people. Um, if, you, if, you guys, if you guys have the actual link, can you, um... Either, either you know this is actually DM, his account. DM it to me on Instagram or Twitter. Yeah. Just you so think I it have, really is his Because I can't, I can't, yeah. I can't copy and paste it, it um, from Instagram. It's by someone named Ashley the Berry, and 
like the people in the comments, they seem to know that they're related. Yeah. I mean, look at the post. We just sent it to John on Insta. You um, tweeted it to me? All right, cool. Oh, yeah, just, just tweet it to me or or DM it to me and um, Lindsay. I just thumb. Uh, I would really I appreciate that. I just had a thumb full of salt, and I thought of you. Oh, oh thank you. Miss you guys. We miss you too, Lindsay. Uh, What's it's been DMD? What's DMD? What's that? Sometimes Lindsay sits down at a piano, plays songs, and Lily has a salt shaker, pours it on her hand, licks it, and keeps playing. Just salt. I hate salt. She literally will take doses of salt, salt. like drugs. Hey, Lindsay. Hi. Hello, Renzi. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? Hey, you guys. Good. You have enough. I'm eating some stroganoff and cheese bread from Thank lovely you. Kaylee. You Kaylee, that. baby. <laughs> she made it. Love you, Bubba. She made homemade beef stroganoff with cheese garlic oh. bread. Unreal. That's fun. How is uh, Arizona? It's Utah. <laughs> in Utah. Sorry. Hey, John, so, I'm in Colorado. Oh, Ryan tweeted, uh, retweeted it. Retweeted it. How long are you guys here for? Uh, a week. A week. You're there for a week? Oh, DM. Yeah. Did you yeah, bring the dogs? Thank you. No, they're back in LA. Who's we watching them? Dog Park Dan. Who? His name is Donald Park Dan. He's like our like complexes. Yeah, he's like our complexes. was a little strange. 150000 is a lot to me, but also I don't know what it costs to have a funeral. Also, maybe the parents don't want to go back to work for three months. I get that. It's sour, like, there's a lot of expenses we're not thinking about. When you lose a son, most likely mom and dad ain't going to go back to their nine, five, 9 to 5 tomorrow. You know what I mean? So there also is that time of them healing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it could be... But uh, can, I, can you... Is there any way to see, like, the source of, Yeah, like, Alex, who... how would I be able to tell who it is? Ooh. Ashley? Yeah, I, yes, Lindsay, sent it, Lindsay sent it to in your DMs. Yes, the GABA helps me. Thank you, Nicole. Yes. Like, if we had, like, a legit source to, like, where this... Um... Yeah, look at, uh, John, look at your DMs on Instagram. All right, let me look. Babe, do you know where other phone is? Can you help me find it? Can you give it to me? Okay, so it's on Instagram? Yeah, go and. Um, someone said someone said that it's real and it's in his cousin's bio. So if, I mean, if it's if it's, wait, 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 wait. if it's in his cousin's bio, then I mean, like that's. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, agree. She's the one that posted about it. That's how we know. Who's his cousin? It's Who's right. Cousin? Look, she's got posts. Okay, this is real. Is, this Ashley, real. is Ashley his cousin? Does um or who, who's her cousin? Does I mean, Corey his, follow his, her? His yeah, Corey follows her. Ashley LeBerry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're on her profile. Check it real quick. Corey does follow her. Okay, dude, Corey's gone up fifty thousand followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 